It is still dark out. The sun is not up yet, John. <laughs> Yesterday, when we looked at that uh, triple box, uh -huh. it was still pretty yucky, but I felt like the afternoon got better, and today smells better to me, too. It absolutely did, Daria. There was big improvements yesterday, and even though you could still see a little bit of haze out there, I ventured out yesterday, and it felt so much better already, and today is going to be a little bit better yet. So if you have respiratory conditions, I still want to caution you, but definitely improving, and thank goodness, as we make our way into such a comfortable weekend. Where we're sitting right now, you can make out a little bit of the haze, a little bit of the smoke for sure. We're not 100% in the clear, but we have most of us in the moderate air quality category this morning. And what we're seeing is any just lingering residual haze. No new smoke from the fire. All that's being sent up north into Oregon. So anything that we've got is just the lingering residual stuff. And look at what happens into Sunday. We are pretty much sweeping all of it out. So it's just a little bit of haze today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, not much, and then we're crystal clear. We had another round of thunderstorms up in the Sierra last night, and as we retreat back, and you'll see the beginning of this graphic again, some of our first snowfall of the season at the crest of the Sierra yesterday. Kind of a welcome sight for sure. Air quality today is going to be moderate for most areas. We still technically do have a spare the air alert in effect. Low pressure area starting to move out. But our next and an even bigger area of low pressure about to be making its way in. And that is going to impact us early next week with some early season rainfall for the north coast of the state and then likely even some parts of the Bay Area. Look at this heavy rain you'll see up around Eureka on into Monday as well as down into Mendocino County. Fizzling a little bit by the time it reaches the Bay Area. But we'll see our own dose of showers. How much rain are we expecting out of this? Well, Take a good look at Eureka. Over an inch of rainfall for September, that's really good. This is for Monday of next week. Mendocino, just to our north, nearly an inch of rain. While areas in the bay might just see a sprinkle or two. But hey, we'll take it anyways. It always is good to see some rain, especially this time of year when things are so dry. 60s for your highs in SF, 60s at the coastline, while looking at mostly 70s elsewhere. Today's a little bit cooler than yesterday was. Really nice day to be venturing outside, especially considering air quality has continued to gradually improve. Fremont through Hayward in the mid 70s, while Oakland at 70 degrees. Danville up to Concord in the upper 70s, and even Antioch only at 78 today. We don't have any 80s on this map, and I love it. I am really enjoying the fact that we actually get to enjoy our comfortable temperatures now. Now, tonight, as we do kick off fall, we will be seeing temperatures falling into the 40s and 50s. Tomorrow morning, your first morning of fall, some low 50s. Tomorrow afternoon, we're right back to those nice 70s. So a beautiful last day of summer and a beautiful first day of fall tomorrow with highs in the mid-70s at the warmest, and we'll stay that way as we move through the weekend before our chance of showers on Monday.